on Extreme File Link 2020. Today's video is going to be about block ADA and how you set it up step by step. So as you notice, when I first opened the app, mine was already turned on. The very top is a power button to turn it on and turn it off. When you click on DNS is activated, click on that, and then it will open up the different DNSs you can enable or disable. The only one that you can turn on or, or is recommended to turn on is Agar DNS because it blocks ads. And turn it off, it's not going to block ads. Turn it back on, it's going to block ads. If you're not really using this app to block ads, you can use it for Cloudflare, which you can also turn that on if you want, but you can only turn on one at a time. So let's turn on Agar DNS. It's back out of there. Now, click on where it says apps. Open that up. You got your installed apps and your system apps. Go to installed apps, and it's already got the important ones that you really don't want to have AdGuard blocking apps because you won't get the automatic updates that the Play Store does. So right now, Google Play Games is on there. Let's look for uh, system apps. It's already got the Google Play Store, Gmail, Download Manager. You know, it has, it has all the things that need to be bypassed. Now, if you have certain apps like TV Zion, it may cause a problem with that. So make sure you go ahead and bypass that one. Or uh, I heard a member say that Amazon Prime wasn't working or Amazon Video, Prime Video. Go ahead and uh, bypass that and you shouldn't have any problems. Netflix would probably be another one and maybe Hulu. Any of the paid services that you're using. So all you got to do is click on any of these apps and then it's going to want you to bypass. So let's go down here to TV Zion. It's already in the list of apps already. So let's just say Typhoon TV. Let's click on that. You don't need to use Typhoon. But what you do, you click OK, and you go to the very top, and now you can see all the apps that are bypassed. And since, by, since Typhoon TV doesn't have ads, we don't need to bypass that one, so we can turn that one off and see how it removes it right away. So we can just go ahead and back out of this. So right now we have... Go to the home screen, and DNS is activated. That means you just pick the DNS that you're changing, and you're enabling AdGuard DNS. You've already bypassed apps that you don't want ad or block ad a, to block ads from. Okay? So I just go all the way back to the home screen, turn that power button back on, and now it's going to stay active. There's also some other settings in here you can go ahead and uh, tinker with if you want. You can start on boot, turn that on yes, keep alive, which means um, something happens or like your battery savings, turn it off or put it to sleep. If you click on keep alive, this is going to keep the app alive no matter what. So any kind of like battery saver option, you're going to make sure you always keep this turned on if you want to keep it on, if you've got battery saver turned on in your phone. But I only install this app like on my NVIDIA Shield or my Fire Stick. I uh, haven't really seen how good it is on the Fire Stick, but I know it works good on the Shield. Um, pretty sure it would work just fine on the Fire Stick. Just make sure you do what I said, and if you don't have a mouse, you're going to have to download Mouse Toggle because this app's going to require a mouse, I do believe. Uh, so that's the end of my video. This is how you install BlockAdd, and this is how you set it up. Thanks, everyone. Have